Hobart School of Welding Technology presents Training in Gas Tungsten Arc Welding Pipe and Tubing Topic number 10, Job Practice Square Groove Weld, Butt Joint, 45 Degree Fixed Position, 6G 4 Inch Diameter, Schedule 10, Steel Pipe Objective, to develop skill Produce quality square groove wells on thin wall steel pipe in the 45 degree fixed position. The finished pipe weld should have a flat to slightly convex face reinforcement, not exceeding 1 8 inch. The root reinforcement should be flush to a maximum of 1 16th inch. Material, 4 inch diameter schedule 10 steel pipe two nipples per workpiece. Electrode, one-eighth inch diameter, two percent thoriated tungsten. Filler metal, one-eighth inch diameter E70S1B. Shielding gas, argon, welding grade. Equipment, collet and collet body, one-eighth inch diameter. Nozzle, number six, 3 8 inch inside diameter. Protective clothing, gloves, and helmet. Wire brush, wire cutters, and pliers. Machine settings. Polarity, direct current electrode negative, straight polarity. Amperage setting, 80 to 85. Gas flow rate, 15 to 20 cubic feet per hour. Tungsten electrode stick out, one to two electrode diameters. The joint for this exercise is prepared with the same procedure discussed in topic four. The only difference is that the edges of the members will be left square rather than beveled. Remove all burrs and unevenness from one end of each piece. Secure the workpiece in the 6G or 45 degree fixed position. Position the torch at the six o'clock position with a 90 degree work angle and a 15 to 20 degree push travel angle. The filler rod is held at a 10 degree angle with the end against the joint. Start the arc and melt a small portion of the joint edges before adding filler metal. Then begin travel. Move up the joint with a smooth, steady travel speed holding the filler rod stationary against the joint edges. It will become necessary to lift the rod as it becomes shorter. Keep a consistent 1 16th inch arc length. Travel speed will depend on the sinking action of the puddle. If your travel speed is too slow, the puddle will tend to widen and will not sink enough. This produces internal root concavity in the overhead portion. Too slow a travel speed in the flat portion of the pipe will cause the puddle to sink too much, causing excessive penetration. In both cases, the problem is associated with the puddle size and the force of gravity. If the travel speed is too fast, the puddle becomes narrow and does not sink enough. This will produce insufficient penetration. The finished weld should fully penetrate to the root and fuse into both joint edges. The face should be slightly convex and one quarter inch wide. Inspect the weld and continue practice.